what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog. I also like to call myself the Chatty Pen Pal channel and today I'm here with a super fun tutorial for you guys. Now, the other day I was working on a project which is this little project to be precise and I liked it a lot. I figured it was so easy, it's so simple i wanted to turn it into a tutorial because if you follow my videos you know that i love a simple tutorial with great effect uh, i love making little pen pal projects that have plenty of space for goodies to be included in so i made this little flip book i am going to turn the camera down in a second like always um the one we're going to make will have this pretty pretty pastel colored paper but this is just the example or the project that i originally worked on it's basically a flip book with a pocket here and then a page and another pocket there and that's it and it's one so, like i said it's super simple but i think it's really really fun you only need two pieces of paper uh, of five by 12 inches which is I forgot in centimeters. And then if you wanna make a spine like me, just a little scrap piece of paper. So for this video, I'm going to take you through the tutorial step-by-step step in real time first, and then we are going to do the decorating and I'm going to show you a ton of ideas for goodies to include, sped up with a voiceover. So let's get, why do I keep doing this? Let's get straight into it. Now, while I pick out two of these papers to work with, by the way, today I'm working with this pad called Bonita by a company called Mintopia. I got it sometime last year, if I'm not mistaken. I really, really love the pastel colors. I don't use it often enough, so I thought we we're gonna use it for this project today. This is not sponsored. I don't get sent these things for free. I just pay for them with my own money, etc., etc. So don't worry about any of that. I just really like these colors. Now, um, over on Patreon, we have been doing, we are doing our second swap. I am also, of course, participating in this swap. It's really, really fun because 20 people have joined, which is really cool. So 20 people, including myself, are um, sending out little flip books to one another. Um, and I thought I would turn mine into a video just because I can and also, because I think this will be a really fun tutorial to share. Now, what we're going to do, step one is really simple. We already did step one, which was pick two pieces of paper. If you do not have 12 by 12 paper, you can, um, you can glue two six by six papers together, if you like. You're going to make two paper strips of five inches by 12 inches. You could make this bigger or smaller, but I kind of like the measurements five by 12, but you know, feel free to go crazy. I'm just checking to see if they're about the same size because I mess that up sometimes. Step three is score your paper at four inches and eight inches. I forgot to mention this, but this project is perfect for using single-sided paper. So we have both of them scored and then we are going to decide which one we want as a front. I really want this one as a front because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. My paper does not seem to have like a specific direction so I could go either way. Okay, I was just folding my paper around and around because I kind of wanted this flower to be on the front but I think I'm gonna have to go with this one because that just makes more sense. So as you can see, it doesn't really matter to begin with what direction your page is. But okay, let's go back for step number three. Step number three is going to be to decide, of course, how you want your paper to go. So let's just say that you put your uh, front paper, so that is in my case, that is this floral paper, and that is the first three pages. Put that at the top just to keep it easy. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to fold, keep your paper like this if you, this is the direction you like. You're going to fold this flap to the back here and this flap to the front. So you create some sort of a zigzag. You see, so you have, this is your one flap, two, 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 and then you have a blank page at the back. So this is going to be the first page, see? 
first page. And this will also be our pocket. So when we glue it, this is going to be pocket number one. So that is our first page. The second page is going to go kind of the opposite. So we're going to uh, fold the first flap up instead of down, and then the second flap goes to the back. So you have the same zigzag, but this time you have the, the blank page first and the colored page last, okay? I really hope that makes any sense. So I will just show you again. Basically, the second one goes, this one goes under, and this one goes up top. And this one was the other way around. So the left one goes under and this one goes up top, see? Okay, so then we have our two, basically the same booklets, but they are reversed. So we have two white flaps facing up. We're going to glue these together later on, but first we're going to create our pockets. So let's just grab this one first. This will be our first page. This will be the pocket and this will be that flap that is going to be glued together. So, so to create the pocket, I'm going to use a paper punch. I have two different sides, I, sizes. I think I'm just going to go with this one. I don't know how, how big that is. <laughs> uh, this size. I need to empty that. And I'm just going to take a little bite out of the top, but only from the inside page. Of course, you want your front page to remain intact. If this doesn't make any sense to you, just watch what I'm doing and then make your project afterwards. For this pocket, I'm just going to use some tape. Normally, I would use all-purpose glue or craft glue or something like that, but for this tutorial, it's easier because the tape is literally red. <laughs> um, this is super strong, so I cannot make any mistakes. For the pocket, we have taken a little bite out of the top and then we're going to glue the first and the second page together. And we do that by putting some glue at the bottom and at the side, one of the sides. And now we're just going to do the exact same on the opposite side. So we take an itty bitty bite out of the uh, middle page to indicate that it is a pocket and we put glue at the bottom and at one of the sides. Simple. So now we have two little pockets. Um, if you don't want to do any more crafting after this, this would be a perfect little happy meal. You just have one page that you have to decorate the front of and a little pocket and that could be it. But we are actually going to stick them together. Right? And then the last thing I'm going to do, where is my example? The last thing I'm going to do is make this little spine cover. I don't have measurements for that. I just basically go by um, eye. <laughs> so what you do is you take a five inch piece of paper. That is like, this is five inches in my case. And then how big do you think this is? Like a one, e one inch wide. And then you just stick that over the back. Like you cannot really do precise measurements because this is a little bit thicker. So I'm also going to do that in the video, just for your information. And then we're going to do a voiceover with the rest and the decorating. Now, welcome to the decorating part. <laughs> if you skipped through the first part, welcome back. If you managed to watch through it all, congratulations. We're now arriving at the fun part. Sometimes people say, oh, Vivian, your videos are too long. I know this video is quite long and I can tell you, I know, because for editing, I have to sit through the entire thing twice. <laughs> I actually managed, believe it or not, I actually managed to cut 11 minutes from the tutorial part, 11 minutes, either because I um, repeated something so I could cut that out or because I mumbled or I messed up and I had to redo the whole thing. So. And that is good. <laughs> what you saw me show you just now is a bow die that cuts out all these individual elements of a bow. I die cut quite a few in sort of matching colors, not necessarily from this paper pad, but just random paper scraps I had. And I'm going to use them for decorating and I'm also going to include some as like a do-it-yourself bow kit as one of the goodies. 
we are going to start uh, decorating the front of the flip book and while we're doing that i would like to ask you if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to my channel and of course to give this video a thumbs up i would also be really really happy if you would share it with friends or pen pals either through sending someone the link or sharing it on your instagram or even pinterest <laughs> i started using pinterest again and it's so much fun you can follow me there if you like um i post a ton of, or I repost, I should say, a ton of uh, snowmail ideas, both for my own inspiration as well as yours, I guess. <laughs> now, in this video, I'm also doing a giveaway, uh, and I decided to post that all the way at the end of the video. I originally planned to put it somewhere in the middle, but since that video of the giveaway is also a couple minutes long, I have decided to post it at the end. So don't go anywhere if you would like to join. Just for your information, if you're watching this video later, I originally posted this at the 12th of December. Uh, what am I saying? The 12th of February. And the giveaway will run until the 18th, I guess, so that I can announce the winner the 19th. So if it's not, if it's after the 18th of February, I'm sorry, but you cannot join anymore. But I will, of course, do many more giveaways in the future, either here or on Instagram or Patreon. Now, I already mentioned it at the beginning of this video, but this was, of course, for um, the second Patreon swap we did. I cut out the part where I explained the rules, but it was really, really simple. I said the only guidelines I gave were that it had to be a flip book or a tag flip or something with flips and it had to be at least three pages so when you decorate them that is like five pages in total and that is what i did for this so as you can see over on the front of this flip book i got to send to greta or greta i don't know how to pronounce your name but it's kind of funny because this is the second patreon swap and it's also the second time I'm sending it to Greta because for some reason Swapbot randomly assigned the same partner to me twice, even though like 20 people joined. But it's all good because last time we did a collage postcard and now we're doing an entire flip book. So Oh, in case anyone else is wondering, um, I got the die cuts and the flowers and everything that I'm using also from this same brand called Mintopia. I I think it's a different collection. I don't think the paper pad and the die kits that I'm using are the same collection, but they go together quite nicely. I do have to say I got them back in 2019. So I've had these for nearly two years now. Um, and I ordered them off of Croftelier. So maybe if you're interested, you could check their website. I have seen more of these collections. I just don't know if they have these anymore. As far as I know, again, this is not sponsored. I pay for everything with my own money, but the brand seems to be, or I think it's Spanish and I quite like that. Uh, call me silly, but I like it because not a lot of people have these goodies. I mean, probably a lot of people still do have them, but no one in my direct surroundings, like none of my pen pals have it. And then I just like that because uh, when I send someone this, I can be somewhat original. Now my computer cannot keep up with editing this simply because it's so many hours of footage into one video. But what I'm doing here, I'm sure because my computer can't keep up, is I'm making the kit for the bows. So I just grabbed a whole bunch of different gift bags first of all. Most of these are actually from meal that I have received and I just love keeping them because you will always find a project that they match uh, for. And then I found a gift bag that fits into the perf into the pocket perfectly. So I just grabbed a whole different uh, bunch of color combinations and papers for the bows and I put them in the gift bag, closed it with a washi tape strip and I wrote on a little label that it was a do-it-yourself kit for the bows. Then we're going to start decorating this page and as you probably can imagine, I guess, this is one of my favorite pages from all of the paper pads, simply because I love florals, I love pastels. It's all of me on a page, but because it's so busy, I always find it quite difficult to decorate because you don't want to cover up too much of the page and then you also don't want to leave it too blank. So I struggle with that a little bit, but 
you can never go wrong with craft paper. So what I did is I opened Instagram on my phone and a while back I did a giveaway over there as well as here on YouTube and I asked people if they wanted to join to send me their favorite quotes. <laughs> so I have an Instagram post filled with lovely quotes in the comments and I decided to pick one of them for this page. I think it's a beautiful quote. I will definitely remember it. It is, if you root yourself in love and kindness, your heart will always bloom. I don't remember who wrote that. I'm sorry, but wow, I think that's some powerful stuff. I think that's absolutely beautiful. And now I guess that's up for interpretation, right? And I would love to know how you guys interpret this. But for me, it kind of means, or I think it means that if you come from a place of kindness and if you come from a good place, then you will will partly be rewarded with that, like do good, receive good. But also I think as long as you focus on doing good yourself, I think you can find peace and happiness. Um, it sounds super cliche, it sounds way better in the poem, but yeah, that's what it means for me. And I think that is a positive thing as well, because I try to do that. Of course, sometimes we get overwhelmed by bad things that happen in the world or bad things that happen to other people or bad things that other people do. I get overwhelmed with that sometimes, but I think as long as we focus on the good that either other people drew or that we drew or that happens naturally, I think that is sort of a healthy way to live. Made that very, very weird. <laughs> Anywho, beautiful poem. I uh, loved including that. And then let's just continue, okay? <laughs> I have a huge collection of tags and someone sent me these two also in kind of pastel shades. So I thought they would go nicely. And what I did is I turned one of them, which is this one, into a wash, uh, washi tape sample. And the other one I just decorated. And I am going to sort of hang them on the page with a paper clip. I could have put them in a pocket or glued them down, but I kind of like it when they dangle a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why, uh, it's just satisfying. So that's what I did. The washi types I'm including, uh, the top one is from Note and Wish, which is this Etsy store. The middle one, the pink striped one that I did is from AliExpress. And then the third one is again from Note and Wish. I don't know, I kind of found my washi tape stash again and I decided I wanted to use them more often. And then the bottom one is again from AliExpress. I get a lot of questions about this. <laughs> uh, I'm again also not sponsored by Note and Wish. Just love their supplies. And then I'm doing some little a little bit of decorating on the tag. I didn't want to overdo it in case she wants to add anything later, but I thought it would be fun to do a decorated tag as kind of a, an embellishment that she could use for meal. And it says to and from already, so that could be fun also on a gift. Of course, I wouldn't be me. I was gonna say I wouldn't be I <laughs> if I didn't do Nouveau Drops. So I just added a couple different ones around the page. I'll see if I can link them down below. I usually try to link everything that I use if I can. Of course, the AliExpress stuff, I'm not gonna link because the links change all the time. And it's just too much of a fuss. But if I can link them, I will link them. Another thing I would like to tell you about is the white jelly roll that I used. Simply because I love it. I have had crappy white jelly rolls all the time and then I found a good one and I'm just so happy. It's from Sakura and it's called a jelly roll. The one I used, I believe is the 10 size, but I also have an eight size and it works really well on craft paper. Then it's going a bit fast, but what I also have is a roll with little dot stickers. I don't know, I just find them very fun and I decided since they're super duper flat and uh, pretty in my opinion, I am going to add a couple of them to this meal. So I just cut off a piece of the roll and I stuck it down on the page underneath the washi tape samples. I like that because that page is, everything is like double. It doubles as a decoration and it's a goodie <laughs> and I like that. Same for this page, it's a bit of a theme. I'm going to stick down all of these wax seals that I made in another video. By the way, good plug Vivian. If you like wax seal videos, the previous video I did over on YouTube is a wax sealing video. So go check that out if you like. 
Um, this page, uh, I wanted to stick the wax, well, <laughs> wax seals onto the page, and then again, they can be used as goodies, and they look nice as decoration. I'm doing something different. I have not done this yet, or before, I should say. I am first going to stick down a piece of some sort of acetate that was wrapped around flowers I received once. I find that very wasteful, stupid plastic industry. But I uh, saved it for uh, using for mixed media and watercoloring and stuff like that. And I thought I could use that as uh, a page protector almost, because I very often give wax seals as gifts but I'm afraid that if they've been on the page for a little bit longer the double-sided tape becomes kind of too sticky and you will tear the page if you try to reuse the wax seals so instead I thought I would just stick them on this acetate so that you can more easily remove them this is another day oh no this is not another day this was the end of the day because I always when I finish crafting I do the wax seal um, the Nouveau drops because they need to dry for a couple of hours or so. So I usually do that at the end of the craft session. And then I'm just sticking down in the wash. Uh, why do I keep saying washi types? The wax seals with double sided type. I have different designs, different elements. So one of them has a dried flower. We have gold flakes. We have a glitter. I love doing these. If you like videos that do wax sealing stuff. <laughs> If you like watching those type of videos, I have a ton of them up on my channel. I did make these specifically for this video because I ran out of pastel colored wax seals. I was going to say washi tapes again. Don't worry if that was too fast for you. I have a sort of slower flip through from everything at the end of this video. But because uh, this video is already so heavy for my computer, I cannot slow down every clip anymore because that's just gonna mess up the whole thing. <laughs> um, we are kind of in the almost closing phase. As you can see, I don't work on my pages chronologically. I just work on whatever I wanna work on at the time and then some goodies in between. <laughs> but we are uh, finishing the last page is what I was trying to say. I was struggling with this again, but we figured it out in the end. I realize that I've talked a lot in this video. I already announced it at the beginning of this video, but I am really a chatty pen pal channel. So <laughs> I'm not necessarily apologizing. There was just a lot that I had to or wanted to talk about in this video. Hope it was enjoyable to watch either way. I try to find some sort of a balance between um, doing some busier, more talkative videos and some calmer videos. But I guess there was just a lot to talk about. <laughs> and then we're doing something that I ended up loving. We're using a Project Life card here as a background. I never do that. I have way too many Project Life cards. Um, I don't know why I went off screen there for a second, but I have way too many of them. And this is a very good way to use them, I suppose, as a background. And I just wrote home for some reason because uh, some of these die cuts that I want to use for decorating have a bit of a homey feeling. So we have a basket over there that is filled with yarn and of course we have a bow. I don't have any bows in my house but I guess it could add to the homey feeling. And then we have a stack of pillows. I really like these kind of random die cuts. Normally I would always go for the flowers and for the botanical things and the cutesy stuff like teacups but <laughs> I kind of liked I kind of like that this is different we have some glasses yeah I think that's kind of fun so let me know before I go anywhere how you liked today's video I of course hope you enjoyed it I'm now going to show you the goodies that I will include such as these washi type stickers it's going quite fast still, but don't worry, we have a slower clip coming up. I really hope you enjoyed this. I had so much fun making this flip book. I am quite excited to share this with you and as well as, of course, the goodies. Um, these are washi type stickers and then there is a flow card in the back. A flow card as in a flow book for paper lovers card. 
I added a little strip of paper there so that you could more easily pull it out. Then of course we have the washi tape sample and the decorated tag as well as those dot stickers underneath, which I think is very fun. <laughs> um, I think what I like most about them is that they are so flat because I usually bulk up my uh, flip books way too much. Of course a paper clip as well. We have all of the wax seals. Here they are up close. I really hope that they are more easy, easily removable from the page. Then we have some random sticky notes and of course the do it yourself bow set. I'm now gonna leave you with the giveaway clip, um, but don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I will talk to you again soon. I also want to thank my awesome patrons and have a good weekend. Bye. Hi, I'm doing a video in a video because as some of you may know, today is my birthday. I'm not usually a big fan of birthdays, but I last minute decided that it would be fun to do a small giveaway simply to celebrate a little bit and also to thank you all for all of these months and for some of you all of these years of support for watching my videos and for commenting lovely lovely things and for basically being a great community in general so just a small giveaway like i said i came up with this super duper last minute because i was organizing my collection of labels if you watch my videos for longer you will know that i absolutely love anything and everything label wise <laughs> so i have quite a few and i asked my patrons over on instagram would it be fun oh sorry out of frame would it be fun to do a small birthday giveaway for that and <laughs> the answer was yes so here we are so i have two folders this one with the little birdie is for a, a youtube winner and then this bigger one with uh butterfly is for a patreon winner it has as you can see a couple extra labels and then some beautiful die cuts but this one is for one of you guys uh like i said it is a small giveaway i didn't want to go super duper big because i always stress up out about these things and i also shouldn't be spending too much on postage right now so it's just a tiny pocket that i made it has three three spaces filled with small and bigger labels i've said that multiple times i really hope you like this as much as i do i um yeah kind of excited about this i have uh sewn the pockets together with some golden thread and i have decorated them a little bit also behind the labels yeah <laughs> anywho all you have to do to join is answer a simple question i um, always struggle <laughs> coming up with questions and I realize that I did not prepare this beforehand but I will ask oh let me ask you two questions you can choose one of them to answer so you don't have to answer both of them but I like doing that because I know that sometimes people want to join the giveaway without actually being a subscriber or without actually watching the videos so I'm going to confuse them in the comments a little bit okay um in the comments type the answer to either question one which is what is your favorite fruit or question number two, which is, what is your favorite song? Feel free to throw in some extra random favorites, such as your favorite tea, your favorite drink, your favorite food or something, just to confuse the people who are reading the comments. And I will pick a winner, let's say next week. So in next week's video, I will pick a winner. Um, don't leave your address or anything in the comments. I will announce the winner and then you can email me or message me your address okay so don't <laughs> don't share any of that and then of course the patreon one i will pick a winner for that on patreon so thank you so much for being here and i hope you enjoy uh this little gesture